Welcome to this session of Practical Accounts. Recording opening creditors. Now, these are amounts of money owed to creditors at the start of the financial year. They are recorded as part of the other opening balances and credited to the creditor's suspense. But then we have to transfer from that suspense account onto the control account and then the individual creditor accounts. So we use a special form. Now that special form is found in the creditors menu. Before we get to that, let's have a quick overview of the recording process. Drag it here. Now this recording process for opening creditors, you click the accounting tab. Next, you click creditors menu. You select the creditors opening balances form. Select the creditors account, type the amount, narration, the BF is available by default, the date and the month. And uh, that's an overview of the procedure. Let's drag it to, to the left, to the left. Now, step number one is to select the form creditors opening balances, it comes up. Now when this form comes up, where do we push it to? Let's leave it there for a while. Leave it there for a while. Now our first task is to identify the stock, stock suppliers account, which is account, we click the drop down, that should be account 413. That is selected. The rest below are not optional. So we go straight to the amount. And the amount owed to, owed to stock suppliers is minus 2240. Minus 2240. Click tab. Now we need the narration. Narration should be balance BF. Balance. Broad forward. Click tab. That BF comes by default but we can change it and now we need the date the first date of the financial year which is 01 slash 11 slash 15 click tab now opening balances we use month zero it's aimed at facilitating the preparation of reports via the pivot technology so we type 000 and then the quarter is bf it has been generated we don't need to modify these. They've been auto-generated, and that's about it. Minus 2240 is going to be credited to the creditor's control account, and that entry is a duplicate of what is credited to the individual creditor's account. That is how we are able to have balancing values when doing the reconciliation of, cre of the creditor's ledger. So at this stage, we are ready to insert, click insert. Now data has been inserted at the back there, and there we are. This is what it is. Now we've done it for the first creditor. Let's do it for the second creditor who is phone mobiles. So we go back to creditors, creditors opening balances. Now the name of our creditor is phone mobiles. Click the drop down. Phone mobiles is number 14. Click tab straight to the amount which is minus 136. Minus 136, that is out. Click tab and that donation should be balance BF. BF. Click tab. That one comes by default. It's okay. Click tab to the date box. The date, the first date of the financial year is the 1st of November. 01 slash 11 slash 15. Click tab. Now the first now, for reporting purposes, as far as pivot tables are concerned, we need to have, we need to separate transactions for the first month and those brought forward. So those brought forward are in month zero zero. So we type zero zero and the quarter is BF. Now, when we click tab, we are really ready to paste this information. 
click insert the data has been inserted and that's we have that's what we have so we have two tra two transactions regarding opening balances for creditors the next task is to update the reports so it's control alt f5 control alt f5 and now we are in position to confirm and check what is happening in the general ledger general ledger will look at the control account data's control account which is account 224 account 224 has got a balance of 236 which is a sum of the two balances brought forward now the next point of call should be the creditors creditors ledger let's have a look at the creditors ledger creditors ledger uh, balance brought forward this is where we are stock suppliers account balance brought forward is 2240 phone mobiles balance brought forward is 136 and the sum for the two is 2376 now Let's have a look at the auto reconciliation of the creditor's ledger. Creditor's reconciliation appears at the bottom here. Click creditor's reconciliation and there it comes. Now when this one comes, we go to month, click month zero zero. Month zero zero, it says that we have got two creditors the sum of what is owed is 2376. Now this 2376 is equal to the balance that we have on the creditor's control account as far as opening balances are concerned. And the difference to investigate is a zero. That's about it. So we can go back to our double entry page. We go with control go and we say B317 enter. So what we have recorded, of course, we started with these opening balances for the main general ledger where we entered the opening creditors balance onto the suspense account. And then below here, we have got these individual balances of 2240 and 136 transferred from suspense onto the individual creditors account and the control account actually we need to have a quick look at the suspense account in the general ledger it should be at the bottom here the suspense account this is what was brought forward and these are the values that were transferred from the suspense account onto the control account we debited suspense and uh, credited the control account which is up here up there let me see if we can have both of them on the screen both of them on the screen that is a creditors control looks like not anyway these are the credit entries on the control account and below here we have the debit entries on the suspense account okay now we go back to double entry quickly control go b319 enter so these were the opening balances from the suspense account to the control account and the individual credit accounts in the creditors ledger and uh, that's it about opening creditors. See you at the next task.